Hello and welcome to MTD CNC India. Today we are here at Rajkot Machine Tool Show and I am standing in front of Sugami India stall and I am so delighted to meet the MD of the company Mr. Jayant and he is going to tell us about interesting journey of Sugami India. Thank you sir. Thank you for inviting us. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much for uh, doing this. So uh, Sugami, Sugami is part of the Sugami group which is a worldwide group based out of Japan and we were set up in uh, 2012 in, in India and we've started our manufacturing facility in Chennai from uh, 2014. So from then we've been manufacturing machines here, which, we, which are uh, particularly catered to the Indian industry only. And we are looking to take care of the Indian industry. Uh, and we've had a very good journey with the Indian market so far. That is also to do with our products being uh, very well suited to the requirements of the Indian, uh, Indian market. And uh, also our quality, our uh, service, our support that we are giving to the Indian customers over here. Both these put together is giving a really good feedback to the customers. So it's helped us to really uh, grow over the last eight years. We have grown from selling a few machines a month to today we are doing almost, uh, we have almost 3000 machines in the field wow. and we're doing almost about 100 machines a month nowadays. Wow. So we have we've been a very good journey. We have very good products suited for the Indian market and uh, we have a very good story going forward as well. I think we came in early to the Indian market, which is probably a little bit forethought for, uh, as compared to the other people. Today, everybody is looking at India, 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 but we started this journey in 2014. So it's definitely given us a head start. And uh, we are very positive, very aggressive also about the Indian market. We are going into further expansion. We see India growing from the current economy that it is to five trillion definitely in, in the target that our C, uh, PM Mr. Modi has set and we think manufacturing is going to play a really big role in that and we feel Sugami can definitely contribute in the best way possible to uh, help the, all our customers increase their goals and India itself reach its five trillion economy. That's a great dream sir and I'm sure that Sugami will give a really good contribution in that. So it's good to know that you started manufacturing in Chennai. So you are also an active campaigner for Make in India, right? So how did it all started in 2014 and uh, can you please elaborate about that? So uh, we started uh, we started with our initial facility which is only an assembly facility. Initially we got for about a year or two, we got the initial machines from Japan to just seed the market and test the market and see whether the Indian customers could would like and use the Indian machines. And from there, we have only gone from strength to strength. We have slowly added a small machine shop. Then we've added another assembly bay. And uh, today we have our investments. We are looking at investing into a new foundry shop as well as an assembly bay. Both are already put in line and uh, will come in line in the next one year or so. Already the investment has been put and it's probably going to take uh, go in, go live by next year, Q2 of next year. Wow. So we are really aggressive about the Indian market and uh, we have had a very good story so far and we want to continue. But we think this is only the first few steps in a long staircase. We've probably done only 10% of where we want to be. We think it can really, India can really grow and be in 2030, 2040, we can be much, much, much better than where we are. And uh, we want Sugami India also to grow along with our team so that we all benefit from it together. Amazing. I'm thrilled to know your vision. I mean, this is fabulous. So uh, tell me, uh, because I have worked in 15 years on man in manufacturing sector and seen lots of Sugami machine in different machine shops. So mostly I have seen sliding hand machines, but I know that Sugami has a very diverse range of product portfolio. So can you please explain about uh, Sugami product portfolio? Yes. Uh, how diverse so, it is. So Sugami has a very vast range of portfolio which caters to the small machine, small component manufacturer. So of course our sliding heads are very well known and very well suited to the current environment that is they are automated machines which uh, when once you load the bar it gives you a finished component and today automation is the name of the game. Everybody wants to be in automation, every Indian entrepreneur knows that he has to automate in some manner or the other for him to really grow. Uh, and uh, other than this, we have our turning centers, our uh, standard two axis turning centers. We offer automation with that as well. And that is also picking up quite well in the Indian market. 
Other than this, we have turn mill centers and also vertical machines. We also have a range of cylindrical grinding machines. So all these products we have now seeded into the Indian market and the customers are all getting used to these machines and we think each one of these products can really grow in the next few years so that we can uh, grow as Sugami India. Definitely and I think there is a big demand for your products that's why a lot of customers are coming to your stall. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so uh, I just want to understand uh, you know what kind of future trends are coming up in India uh, what do you see? What kind of new application and new sectors are coming up as we are moving towards 5 trillion economy and becoming an export oriented economy? So what kind of new opportunities are on the table? I think, I think there is going to be a lot of uh, movement towards, of course, the EVs, which the EV space, which everybody is talking about, that is probably going to come up from now. And there's going to be a significant move towards EVs in the next five years. Other than that, I think there is going to be a significant push towards robotics and automation. And people have to uh, be all customers today want to increase their turnover, increase their sales while maintaining their manpower. So they really need to uh, increase the level of automation in their company. And also that will help us to really increase our uh, per capita earnings for each person in India, which is also very important. So I feel the uh, new, new sectors which are going to come up are definitely EV as well as we have the electronic sector, which is very, very small right now in India and is very large uh, across the world. Whereas India sees a very small sector of it. But I think in the next five years, we'll see a very good push in that in that sector, whether it is semiconductors, whether yes. it is cell phones, whether it is anything to do or even cables, chargers, all those things. Somebody has to manufacture them. And the uh, uh, push between China and India, I think the India is going to benefit a lot from that if we are able to get our act together. I think so far, everything seems to be very positive. So for the next 10 years, we are very positive and very bullish on India as a market and the, our growth in India. I totally agree with you and I'm also optimistic. And uh, because of this China plus one strategy, uh, which the Western world is doing, so a lot of uh, electronic manufacturing will come to India. I think earlier we were doing only assembly, but now the small precision components will be manufactured in India, yes. which will boost huge demands for Sugami products, right? Yes. So, uh, as, as the population of Sugami products is increasing all over India, how are you going to manage, you know, uh, the sales after sales support? Because that's going to be a humongous task for your team. So, we are uh, constantly increasing our team, training our team. Uh, almost uh, after COVID, we have now started to add almost for our service team separately. We are adding almost another 50% of the resources again, whatever we had. So, almost every year for the next year, we have plans to add uh, almost 25 to 50 percent of service stuff into the team for installation and uh, taking care of our customers requirements and our sales staff also are increasing at the same time but our factory is also as i told you we've already invested in our factory we are set up to make almost by next year we are we will be able to make almost 200 machines wow. per month and uh, we will have we have that is phase one if it goes well, then phase two is right behind it, which where we can increase to another 300 or 350 machines. We already procured the land, we have everything ready so that we will be able to increase to a significant number uh, in the next few years. Amazing. So uh, I also want to, I want to understand, are you also going to increase your tech centers, you know, educate the customers and solve their problems for the yes. design stage? Yes, we will be agree. We already have tech centers in almost every major state that is Chennai, okay. Bangalore, uh, Pune, uh, Delhi and uh, Ahmedabad. We will be setting up more tech centers over time. Now the next set of next five places have to be opened up. We've already set up in Coimbatore. We've already thinking of setting up in also Nasik and uh, Rajkot the next year two city as well. So we think all those will come over time as our customers increases. We will also be doing a lot of training, especially in the new products where, for example, sliding heads and the high speed drill tap centers. We will be doing a lot of training to emphasize and, and uh, really tell the customer what is the benefit. Only if the customer understands the benefit, then he will buy. So we will be doing a lot of training out of the tech centers, both for our customers and a sales aspect, as well as to the operators and to train the next level of machine operators. Because today, a customer always wants somebody to operate the machine as well. 
So we are training as a gesture, we are training people from the industry or even from our customers' places, we are training in all these tech centers to really educate them and take them up and help the customer to run his machine better. That's really good initiative from your side because you know, uh, skill development is one of the focus of our government also. Yes. If you are helping the, uh, in the skill development of uh, Indian engineers, that's a great job to nation building as well. Thank you very much. Right. Thank so you. this is a really uh, a great initiative. I really appreciate it. So, sir, uh, I can, you know, feel the energy and, you know, your passion and your vision. And that's what has translated in your team also. <laughs> I have spoken to your engineer team. They're also very passionate and, you know, they want to excel very fast. So. I would like to, you know, uh, because global audience is watching you, I would like to give a message to the audience of, uh, that they would like to know from you. So, message in terms of, uh, I think our message is always to give a very good product at the best price possible and uh, to give good service to our customers because customer is always right and uh, we try to give the best possible service so that we can maintain a very good relationship with the customer. That is what we give our message to all our people, as well as uh, even if we make mistakes, we should learn, learn to correct from these mistakes and then go forward. That's how we've grown so far. And I think that's going to hold us in good stead going forward. Great, sir. Great. Thank you. Thanks thank, a lot, sir. Thank it was you. a pleasure talking to you.